anti-lockdown rallies like this one have become common in Brazil. Não adianta ficar bom usando máscara, isso é, isso é besteira, entendeu? Isso é palhaçada, para esses governadores safados, proibir o povo de ir para a rua. Tem 64 anos, tem que tomar cuidado sim, mas ninguém pode parar, gente. Se parar, nós vamos morrer de fome. O país vai quebrar. Protesters are at odds with regional leaders telling them to stay home, and scientists warning that Brazil currently has the world's highest rate of transmission. This rally took place in front of the presidential palace to show support for the most prominent voice downplaying the virus. Olha, eu acredito no presidente. Ele está bem orientado, que ele tem um corpo técnico junto com ele que passa as informações para ele. President Jair Bolsonaro embraces these rallies and sometimes even makes an appearance. He's fought to keep Brazil open since the outbreak began and actively discourages social distancing. Please, Mr. President, stay home and shut your mouth. Stay home and shut your mouth. To open our economy, it would be genocide. I don't know what, what passes within his, his head. Artur Virgilio Neto is the mayor of Manaus, the capital of the state of Amazona. Manaus has had more than 8,000 COVID-19 cases since March 13, which experts warn is a preview of what the rest of the country should expect if it follows the president's line. The city is a chaos. Now I'm in locomotion to make a transport of a friend who is very bad with COVID. E precisa ajudar porque não tem ambulância, não tem o que ajudá-la. Manaus has the only ICU in the state, so the city has been flooded with people looking for treatment. The morgue is overwhelmed, forcing families to wait days to recover their loved ones' bodies. More than 700 people have died in Manaus in the last two months, forcing the city to dig mass graves. Quase ainda agora eu olhei a funerária trouxe seis corpos da prefeitura. Não era normal, né? Que o normal era pouca gente aqui na frente, não tinha ninguém, ficava deserto. Agora as funerárias até a noite elas vêm, entram, deixam os corpos lá no frigorífico para no outro dia sepultar. Pra... Eu espero que melhore logo, né? Pra voltar a vida de todo mundo normal, né? The city won't allow more than three people per funeral leaving many families to watch through the fence as their loved ones are buried. 